Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. So Bryce Harper was hit in the face last night with a 97 mile per hour fastball. This is scary stuff. And they say baseball is not a contact sport. So we've got the top of the six here. Three to three score between the Phillies and the Cardinals. Bryce Harper up at the plate. First pitch from the new pitcher. Square right between the eyes to Harper. Now this guy on the left over here has no idea what happened. He's not even watching the game. He's working, I think. And I never understood this. You go to a game, one of the most exciting hitters in the league is up, and you don't watch. Oh, whatever. Now Bryce is an absolute animal. The guy just got hit with almost a 100 mile an hour fastball square to the face and he hops up and walks it off. I can't imagine how much that must have hurt but the good news is everything is okay. He was taken to the hospital, received a CT scan and everything came back fine. The guy apparently is like Rocky. He's made of iron. Now the story gets even crazier because the very next pitch to D.D. Gregorius hits him square in the ribs. This man is trying to break everyone's bones out there. Now I'm just kidding. He's not trying to hit people. It's a tie game. He just stinks. I'm actually Actually kidding. He doesn't stink, okay? He's in the major leagues. I stink. Now the umpires issue a warning and Girardi is pissed. He says the pitcher should have been thrown out. And here's what he said after the game. Quote, he said, I understand why they give the warnings, right? They don't want things to escalate. They don't want people to get hit. But if a guy hits a guy in the face and a guy in the ribs with two pitches, he's got to go, right? If you're really protecting the players, obviously he doesn't have command. He's got to go. I mean, now I got a shortstop that probably might have to have imaging on his ribs and you're going to let him stay in the game. He's got to go just for the safety of the players. Now Joe's got a point here. There is a safety concern, obviously. And the manager can't take the pitcher out because he's got to throw to at least three hitters. And he actually said if it wasn't for the three batter minimum that he would have taken him out right after he hit Harper in the face. Now just to be clear, people are asking this online. I don't think in any way this is intentional. There's no way he's coming into a tie game in the six and just says I'm going to just start drilling everybody. Now as far as Girardi and him going nuts as a manager, sometimes you got to stand up for your players. And I don't personally know Joe Girardi but he seems like a guy that's going to stand up for his players. And I actually have a Joe Girardi story for you. So two years ago, I'm down in Georgia, Marietta, Georgia. We're playing in an Antonelli baseball tournament. Well, it's not one of our tournaments. It's a tournament for perfect game, but we're playing in it. Now we're waiting for our turn to play because there's like 400 teams in this tournament. So we're watching the game before us finish up. Now I see the first base coach for one of these teams run over the first base. And this guy is Jack. Now he's short, but he's jacked. And I say to myself, man, I got to hit the weights. This guy looks good out there. He just looks like a baseball guy. And so I'm watching and I'm watching. Now, if he could see me, he's probably getting a little nervous about how much I'm into his physique. And so I'm still watching. And then I tap one of our players that I'm watching the game next to and I say, hey, that guy at first base, doesn't he look a little bit like Joe Girardi? Kind of resembles him a little bit, huh? Well, after the inning ends, he runs from first back to the dugout, and now he gets really close to me, and I'm watching, I'm still watching, I'm watching him, and I go, holy shit, that is Joe Girardi. And it was, it was really him. His son was playing for that team, and he wasn't managing anywhere, so he was the assistant coach for the summer. Okay, now back to the game. So he gets tossed out of the game, and on his way out, he pulls his mask down, he looks out at the pitcher, he says, hey, throw the ball over the fucking plate. Now, this is a famous baseball line from both managers and coaches and, and players. Anytime a pitcher gets wild, right, he hits a few guys or he starts throwing balls up and in, somebody, it happens every time, somebody from the dugout is going to scream out, hey, throw the ball over the fucking plate. Literally happens every single time. So thankfully, Bryce is okay. And hopefully he gets right back into the lineup soon. And this is going to be interesting because it's got to be absolutely terrifying to get hit in the face. I've been hit in the head a couple times, nothing serious. You may think that I've had some you know, a couple few too many balls hit off the head, but they just kind of skimmed me. So it never had a huge effect on me. But you got to think, getting hit in the face the next time he gets up, like you got to be thinking about that a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see if he's able to really dig in there and continue to have success. Hopefully he does. So that's all we have. Scary moment. Thankfully, everyone here is okay. And that's all we have. We'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.